Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at another switch from KP Republic. This is the CIY Naraka. I hope I'm not pronouncing that improperly. This is how it's spelled, N-A-R-A-K-A. This is a linear uh, spring from CIY. It goes for roughly um, 24 cents on KP Republic site, uh, depending on the quantity that you buy. Now, this is made from a PC top housing, a specially modified nylon bottom housing, a POK stem, POC, and it does have a selected long spring. I'm not sure what selected long spring means, but that's what it looks like there. It does have an operating force of 46 grams. Uh, plus or minus five grams. I've always seen it in either tens or fives. I'm, it's funny to see it in a six. Now, this is a, a long pole stem. It has a 3.3 millimeter travel. That means we're seeing seven tenths of them, seven tenths of a millimeter of the stem sticking up above the top housing. It is factory lubed, though lightly. You can see uh, the lubrication on the stem, especially. You can see the hint and glint of oil. Now, this switch has absolutely no ping to speak of. So even though it's lightly lubricated, it's enough to do the job. Though I, I think that that little bit of high pitch could probably be taken out by just giving a little bit more lubrication. Now, I've gone ahead and loaded up three of them under the D, F, and G key, while the rest of the board, including these which I'll be testing against, are loaded up with stock Akko CS Vintage white switches, which are also linear. So, let's hear what the CIY Naraka sounds like first. And the CS Vintage white. Now, the Akos definitely sound louder. This sounds like a more expensive switch, even though the Akko is actually just slightly more expensive in 45 packs than this would be. So while the Akos are louder, these are much deeper, I think, in tone that you can hear it right away. Almost an octave of difference. These, though the volume, like I said, are louder. These are much deeper. And because they're long pull, they're not muted. They just aren't as loud or clacky as the Akko switches. So um, I've got to say, I'm impressed with the CIY switches I've been taking a look at. This one, including it, it has a very nice feel to it. Uh, the bottom out is not harsh at all, but it's also not very loud. And I've got to say, the deep tone of this, it's one of the deeper tone switches. And I am I think this is going to be one of the few switches I'm going to ask for a full batch from KP Republic so that I can do a full in-depth review of them because 
I like this. This is a nice switch. So I do hope that you enjoyed the review of this CIY Naraka linear switch. If you have any questions about this or any of the other switches that I've reviewed lately, please feel free to drop a comment down below, and I'll do my best to respond as quickly as possible. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.